In this tutorial, we will show how to add content blocks to a page with Batby. For now, the page is blank. It has no blocks or page structure. Blocks allow you to structure your page and content. To add a new block, click Addition at the top of your screen and then Blocks. You can now see drop zones appear on your page. These drop zones show you where you can insert content blocks, which can be found here. This drop down menu shows you all the available categories of blocks. They are set during back the installation. For example, in the category article, you have several types of blocks article, latest article, quote, and paragraph. Once you select a block, you have its description, just like this. You can also access your blocks by clicking Block Display. You can now see the exact same categories of blocks, but in a pop-in window. To see all block types, just click here and click one more time to hide it. Now, if you want to add a new block, you can drag and drop it into the drop zone. You can see the drop zone becomes green, meaning I can drop my block right here. Now my block article appears. If I click, the breadcrumb trail appears right here and at the very end of it my block article. Another drop zone in the right hand menu lets me add blocks to my right column. For example, I can select a different block category, like social. Now I can choose one of the content block types, like Facebook or Twitter. I click, I drag and drop my block and it appears in the page. This is how you add blocks to a page. You can also add a Facebook block. If you click on one of your blocks, you can see various options. To move your block, click this icon. This green strap at the top and at the bottom of your screen allows you to move up and down the page. I can place my Facebook block under my Twitter block by dragging and dropping it into the drop zone. Now you know how to create content by adding new content blocks. Thank you for using Bagby.